Hi Seagull class. Today we're going to be doing some more studies on leaves, but before you go gather your specimens, I wanted to go over a few guidelines for gathering specimens. First of all, a specimen is an example of something that you're going to take to study. So if I need a specimen of a leaf, this is my specimen of a leaf. So when you go outside to get your specimen, you need to make sure that you take only one specimen. You're taking something to study it, and so you really only need one of the same thing to look at. Now, if something is different, you can take another one of those, but only one of the same type of specimen. So for instance, if I get this leaf from a plant, I don't need to get another one of these leaves from the same plant, but I could get a few different leaves that look different from different plants so I can study them. Another guideline for a gathering specimen are to take a specimen that there are more than three of. So that means if I go to a plant and this is the only leaf on the plant, I can't take it. If there are two of these leaves on the plant, I still can't take it. But if there are three of these leaves or more on the plant, then I can take the leaf as a specimen. The third guideline for gathering specimen are, is don't take a specimen that belongs to someone else. So you can take a specimen from a plant that's in your yard or maybe a public place, but it's not a good idea to go into someone else's yard to gather a specimen unless you ask permission first and they say it's okay, then you can. And the very last guideline is to say thank you to the plant because anything that you take off of a plant as a specimen was part of that plant's body. And so we have to say thank you to the plant for giving up part of its body for us to study. So always say thank you to the plant. Here are those guidelines. Take only one. Don't take any if there's not at least three. Don't take any if they don't belong to you. And make sure to say thank you.